بسم الله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد حبيت في الله إمام سعدي says after Allah تبارك وتعالى says في كتابه الكريم إهدنا الصراط المستقيم guide us to the straight path he says this straight path is the path of those whom you have blessed إهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم it is the path of those whom you have blessed namely the prophets Siddiqeen those who are strong and truthful in faith the martyrs and the righteous people and then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions not meaning not those the path not the path of those who have incurred your wrath those who came to know the truth but drifted away from it such as the Jews and other than them not the path of those who have gone astray those who drifted away from the truth because of ignorance and misguidance such as the Christians and others like them although this surah is brief it contains that which no other surah of the Quran contains it refers to the three types of Tawheed the affirmation of the oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which is the Lordship Tawheed uh, Arububiyah the affirmation of the oneness of the Divine Lordship this is Tawheed Arububiyah uh, is seen in the verse Rabbil Alameen the Lord of the Worlds okay so Rabbil Alameen when you say that that's an actualization of Tawheed Arububiyah the Lordship of Allah you're acknowledging the Lordship of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Tawheed al-Uluhiyah the Tawheed of Ibadah that we talked about is an affirmation of the oneness of the divinity of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala meaning that all worship only belongs to Allah which refers to the worshipping Allah alone is seen in the phrase Alhamdulillah all praise belongs to Allah and also when we say Iyaka na'budu wa Iyaka nasa'in that's direct that's very direct you alone we worship you alone we seek help. That's Tawheed al Ibadah or Tawheed al Uluhiyah. And then the Tawheed of al Asma'i wa Sifat, the divine names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, which means affirming that the attributes of perfection belong to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, which he ascribed to himself and which his messenger alayhi salatu wa salam affirmed without denying the apparent meanings or likening him to his creation and this is seen in the word where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, the word praise the uh, alhamd as, as mentioned prior and also in the divine names that are mentioned Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim ar-Rahman ar-Rahim those are uh, names and attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, ar-Rahman the most beneficent ar-Rahim are, are the most merciful, the most beneficent. That that shows that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has Rahmah. He's Ar Rahman because he possesses Rahmah. Ar Rahman is his name. And he what is the quality that he possess? His mercy. The most merciful possesses mercy. This is the aqidah of Ahl Sunnah. This is the creed of Ahl Sunnah wa Jama'ah. Then the Imam, he said, it affirms prophethood in the words, guide us to the straight path, because that guidance is not possible without sending messengers. We follow the sunnah of the messenger of Allah, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, for guidance. So we know how to practice Islam. So we know how to come closer to Allah, subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we know what pleases Allah, tabarak wa ta'ala. So that means the messengers, alayhim abdul salatu wa salam, specifically the messenger Muhammad, sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, is a means, a wasila. We draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by following the sunnah of the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but not by supplicating to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not by worshipping the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, not to make a dua to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but rather by following his sunnah salawatu rabbi wa salamuhu alayhi. It affirms recompense for deeds in words. 
master of the day of judgment and tells us that the recompense will be on the basis of justice because this is the meaning of the word judgment. It affirms the divine decree and tells us that humans act on the basis of free will which is contrary to the views of the Qadris and Jabaris, the Jabriya. You know, those who believe that either the, the Qadriyas in general who negate that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has, uh, uh, you know, has a, a divine decree that he has knowledge of what is going to to happen and so forth. And the Jabriya who are the uh, the extreme opposite who believe that Allah uh, just controls every action that we do, that we have no free will, that we don't even have limited free will, that and that it is unjust that we would be punished, that Allah would just create you and send you to hell or send you to paradise. That instead, you know, so that they believe everything is determined and everything is uh, that you have no no free will at all. This is the Jabariya. That's in a uh, in a very brief uh, brief understanding of what they believe, and that is against the creed of Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah. He said, in fact, it refutes all the followers of innovation and misguidance. In the verse, guide us to the straight path, because the straight path is knowing the truth, acting upon it. But everyone who follows innovation and misguidance does the opposite of that. So bid'ah is the opposite of that. By following misguidance, you are uh, not doing what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is asking of you and the people of desires, this is their minhaj, their methodology. It speaks of being sincere towards Allah in terms of worship and seeking help in the verse, إِيَّاكَ نَعْبُدُ وَإِيَّاكَ نَسْتَعِينَ You alone we worship and you alone we ask for help. And then he said, Praise be to Allah, the Lord of the worlds. So Imam Sa'di, he ended uh, his explanation. And as you see, this is why the, the benefit of reading from it, it's very concise. It's just something that we can kind of go through, we can benefit from, some just some beneficial reminders. And also the way this alam gave, you know, made things concise that all of us from the from from the general Muslims to a student to even the ulama, everyone can benefit. Everyone can benefit. He he he, he brings so much light and a lot of qawaid and principles based on the book and the sunnah and the madhab of the salaf. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by his divine names and attributes to bless us, to forgive us, to guide us, to help us and protect us and keep us firm, to bless us to be firm upon the book and the sunnah and bless us to leave off sin and to forgive us of our many, many mistakes and our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.